In the heart of the Americas lies a mysterious and majestic feline, the puma, also known as the mountain lion, puga, panther, in the eastern United States, or catamount. This enigmatic creature is a formidable presence in the world of big cats. It's often compared in size to the jaguar, making it one of the largest cats native to the Western Hemisphere. The puma, scientifically named puma can color, is a testament to adaptability. With its wide distribution, it roams from the dense forests of southern Argentina and Chile to the rugged wilderness of southeastern Alaska. These cats have a knack for thriving in diverse habitats, from desert scrub and chaparral to swamps and forests. Pumas exhibit a remarkable range of sizes, especially with those living near the equator being smaller than their northern and southern counterparts. In North America, the average male puma weighs about 136 pounds, but some outliers can exceed a staggering 220 pounds. Their fur, bearing the specific name can color, showcases an elegant uniformity, a deep brown coat covering their back, sides, limbs, and tail. The shades of brown can vary based on geography and season, ranging from gray to reddish brown. Some even report sightings of black pumas, and their facial color patterns can be quite variable. The underside of these cats is lighter, and their long, graceful tails often bear a distinctive black tip. When the sun sets, the puma comes alive. They are predominantly crepuscular, which means they are most active at dawn, dusk, and throughout the night. Their primary prey consists of ungulates, such as deer, larger than themselves. In North America, each puma is responsible for taking down around 48 ungulates each year, as well as numerous smaller prey like rabbits, bobcats, porcupines, beavers, opossums, raccoons, skunks, and even other pumas. Occasionally, they hunt domestic livestock, making them a formidable presence for farmers and ranchers. Pumas are usually solitary creatures, except for brief breeding associations that last anywhere from one to six days. During this time, they emit spine-chilling screams, signaling their readiness to mate. These majestic cats are known to breed throughout the year, with a peak in births during the summer months at higher latitudes. The interval between births is roughly two years, but it can be shorter if a litter doesn't survive or disperses early. Puma cubs are born after a 90-day gestation period. A typical litter usually consists of three cubs, though variations from one to six have been observed. These newborns are spotted and born blind, weighing in at about half a kilogram each. The birth site, typically located in dense vegetation, is meticulously kept clean by the mother, free of feces and any leftover prey remains. This secluded spot lacks obvious modifications and is eventually abandoned when the cubs reach the age of 40 to 70 days. The journey to adulthood for a puma is fraught with challenges. Upon reaching 10 to 26 months of age, cubs disperse from their mothers, but many sadly do not survive long enough to fend for themselves. It's a tough world out there, and predators like wolves and bears can pose a threat, as can human activities. Most puma deaths are attributed to hunters, other pumas, or even motor vehicles. Pumas are creatures that live at low density, with one to five individuals inhabiting every 100 square kilometers. To ensure their survival, these cats require vast territories with abundant prey and adequate cover for ambushing their prey. In a given region, there are approximately two adult females for every male. Female home ranges may overlap significantly, but the territories of adjacent males have little to no overlap. The sizes of these home ranges can vary widely, but on average, a female's territory covers around 140 square kilometers, while males typically have territories roughly twice as large. At the time of European settlement in the New World, Pumas roamed freely across what are now the lower 48 United States and southern Canada. However, today, they are primarily found west of 100 degrees W longitude, which roughly extends from central Texas to Saskatchewan. In Florida, the puma population, 
known as the Florida panther, is endangered. The puma faces numerous threats, from habitat loss due to urban sprawl to poaching and conflicts with humans. While they are generally elusive and avoid human contact, there are about four puma attacks and one fatality per year on humans in the United States and Canada. Most victims are often children or individuals traveling alone. However, an informed and cautious approach can significantly reduce the risk of such encounters. The puma, with its power and stealth, embodies the wild spirit of the Americas. As we conclude our exploration of this magnificent creature, it is vital to remember the importance of their conservation. Efforts are underway to protect these incredible cats, such as creating habitat corridors to aid their survival. In a world where many species face threats and challenges, the puma stands as a symbol of the wilderness. It's a reminder that nature's beauty lies in its diversity, and the more we understand and protect these remarkable creatures, the richer our world becomes. So, let's continue to explore, appreciate, and protect the incredible wildlife that surrounds us. Thank you for watching this video about the puma, one of the most fascinating and adaptable animals on the planet. I hope you enjoyed learning more about their amazing features, behaviors, and habitats. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.